I did find out that I am 1% black from this ancestry DNA test, and I was like, 1% black DNA? Like, how could that have happened? Um, but it is a mouth swab test. <laughs> sex in the hospital while my son was laying next to me. <laughs> he had surgery and he was like 10 months old and we was in Johns Hopkins and my man at the time, we we had sex in the room. I had sex in the graveyard and that's just it. Yeah, <laughs> Women. <laughs> yeah, bro, come on. Oh, no, I'll just, I'll just give them water. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Money doesn't make you happy. Happy makes you money. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I miss you, stink. So can you please come home so I can rub your feet? Fix you some food, tell you about my day, and you tell me about yours. What you doing? Well, yes, yeah, Steve. There's nothing, gentlemen, that will fuck up your life better than choosing to partner with the wrong woman. Which, which one is this? Please? My sister. The engagement is all. You could find out, though. Um. Uh... <laughs> <It's shocking. laughs> He shocked you. He shocked. I didn't mean it now. Why are you? Why, my story, they happen for China. Anybody will know ready. They want where they ready. They will give up. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. The streets are calling and I'm going. It's time to make bad decisions since I don't have a bait to stay loyal to. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. If prostitution was legal, do you think there would be less gold diggers and sugar babies? Oh, yes, 100% there would be, because at that point, like I said, there would be a lot more legal services out there. So, you know, the men who do, like the gold diggers, like the old men who have younger girlfriends or the men who pay for, like, a girl to be with them for long-term relationships, they would know that they have a service, so whenever they wanted, they can just go pay for it that price instead of having to pay a fortune for another girl. So wouldn't women be the ones who are less spoiled and lazy? Gotcha, bitch! I guess, <laughs> caught me there, I guess in a sense, yeah, you could say that. This relationship is not going nowhere. I'm clearly not happy and I've been telling you this for the longest. Like, I'm, it's not a joke. I'm not playing. I play about a lot of stuff, but I'm telling you that I, I no longer want to be with you. It's no talking no more. It's no talking. It was no talking. I, I can't get through to you. What I'm telling you is I'm happy. I found somebody that I'm happy with and I want to be with. Well... It's over. I can't be with you no more. I'm happy. I'm I'm sorry. I gotta hang up. Hang up. Hang up. Why the fuck would you break up with that man for? Because I'm not happy. I clearly just told him that I'm with who I want to be with. But we wasn't supposed to be together, G. We were just fucking around, G. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? So you don't want to be with me? Hell no. Nah. That's the fuck? Weird. You just let me in the whole relationship for you to tell me you don't want to be with me. Man, look, I look, we we was we just fucking around. That's it, bro. Now most females base their decisions on emotions and feelings. How are they feeling at that particular time? And majority of women are slaves to their feelings and emotions. So this woman decided that this was the best time to break up with their boyfriend, to break the news that she was no longer she no longer wanted to be in a relationship with him. And what you have to understand, gentlemen, is that majority of women will leave the relationship emotionally six months before they leave it physically. So what she didn't realize or bear in mind that the side guy wasn't interested in taking her seriously or having a serious relationship with her. He was only using her for recreational sex. And gentlemen, you have to understand that. Don't listen to what a woman tells you. Watch what she does. So if your girlfriend or wife is posting stuff on, on her social media, maybe she's wearing more makeup than usual when she leaves the house, maybe she's wearing short dresses, tighter dresses, maybe her cleavage is showing, then she's getting ready to make a change. If she's going to the gym without you, just remember that she's getting ready to make a change. She's getting ready to leave you. How old are you? 
21. Where are you from? Guatemala. What do you look for in a guy right now? He's funny and he treats me well. What about the money? Nah, I don't care. Not at all? No. So he doesn't even have to make 100K? No. Let's say you made 100K. How much should he make? I don't care. I really don't care about money. What do you care more about then? His personality. Yeah? Yes. So let's say I wanted to take you on a first date, right? Where would you want to go? Maybe to eat something, I don't know, to a restaurant. What if I said, let's go to Burger King? It's okay. I love Burger King. What's your favorite thing on the menu? Uh, hamburger, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't care. Okay. What gave you that mentality? I don't know. Maybe my, my parents um, raised me well. So I never really care about money. Would you rather marry someone right now that your parents picked out or be single for the rest of your life? I'm an orphan. All right. Remember, having loud sex in your apartment gives your neighbors the opportunity to participate remotely. Until we meet again. Hey there, y'all moving in? No, ma'am. We just wanted to see what our stuff would look like inside this house. And once we see, we're going to move it back to our place. Stupid questions deserve stupid answers. You're goddamn right. Guys, don't forget to cheat on your boyfriend this weekend because he won't marry you at the end of the day. And he's also cheating. Trust me. If she cheats, she belongs to the streets. Keep a name of mods if it doesn't end with money. I get whispered about what I do is not funny. Strict disciple who did me will never leave me. It's a vicious cycle. What the, the wanna kill me? This ass niggas, cause I beat what they would be. Teach back, fellas.